Hello, my name is Ram and welcome to another video of Matuklasan. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the critical values and p-values in a z-test using Microsoft Excel. To find the critical values, we'll be needing the type of test and the level of significance for our hypothesis testing. And on the right side of this table, I prepared a column containing the type of test and the level of significance for each row. So... To find the critical value of a test of a left-tailed test with a, a 0 0.01 level of significance, we need to use this formula. We need to type norm dot s dot inv open parenthesis, and you can directly type 0 0.01, which is the level of significance for this um, example close parenthesis and will have negative 2.33 this must be correct because if we have a left tail test we are expecting a negative critical value now you can also select the cell containing the level of significance in this case this is the cell that contains 0 0.05 so close parenthesis oops then enter we have negative 1.33 64 and you can drag this to get the critical value of this row for the right tail test we need to subtract the alpha level from one uh, because these values are coming from a distribution with a shaded left area so for us to get the right side we need to subtract the alpha level to uh, from one so in this case we just need to type equal sign norm that is same formula but this time I need to type 1 minus the alpha level which in this case is 0 0.01 open parenthesis and we have a positive value for our right tail test with 0 0.01 level of significance dragging this to copy the formula we'll have the next preceding or, or preceding values for uh, the two-tailed test, we need to divide the alpha level with 2. And this positive and negative symbol here is a formula that we can use if we want to change the sign of the distribution. For example, um, when I use norm that is that inv, open parenthesis, let's say I'm selecting this 0 0.01 as our level of significance, I need to divide it by 2. Notice that I did not place any sign in front of the formula norm. So let's see what will happen. Okay, this is a critical value, but when we say two-tailed test, we are expecting two values, right? The positive and the negative value. So this is the value on the left side of the distribution, while 2.58 or positive 2.58 is the value of the right shaded area in the distribution. So what's the relevance of including negative or plus in fr front of norm? So if this is negative 2.58, placing a negative sign here will give us a value of positive 2.58. Anyway, even if you won't include this positive negative on your formula, it's still okay. As long as you do remember that we have two critical values for a two-tailed test one positive value and one negative value so in this case dragging this formula we'll have this uh, remaining critical values for 0 0.05 and 0 0.01 so if this is 2.58 um, this is negative 2.58 this is negative 1.96 and this is negative 1.64 since you have now the critical values, you can start comparing the test value and these values to decide whether to reject or retain a null hypothesis. Now, if we want to find the p-values in a z-test using Microsoft Excel, we'll be needing the type of test and this time the test value. Notice that instead of using INV, we are now using norm.s.dist, which stands for distribution. And we always write uh, the true here to tell us that we are using a cumulative normal distribution. 
let's take a look at this example. In the first row, we have a right tilde test containing a test value of 2.28. So we need to use the formula equal sign, this one, 1 minus norm dot s dot dist. Open parenthesis, you can select this cell or you can simply type the test value, comma, true. Do not forget true. Oh, close parenthesis and we have the p-value of 0 0.0113. And if our level of significance is 0 0.05, we can actually reject the null hypothesis because the p-value 0 0.0113 is less than 0 0.05. Here in this row, we need to identify the p-value of a, of a two-tailed test with a test value of 1.89. So in this case, I'm going to use this formula. So I just need to type 2 asterisk for multiplication times 1 minus norm dot s dot dist open parenthesis. Now here we have 1.89, so this is 1.89 comma true. Notice that I did not uh, include the absolute value function here because in this formula we have absolute value. This tells us that if this test value is, let's say, negative 1.89, you just need to type 1.89. Uh, you... Um, Disregard the sign because this is an absolute value. You can also use the absolute function, the Excel, but you can just type it by removing the sign. So if this is negative, you just make it positive 1.89 here. So either way, in this example, it's positive, so it doesn't matter. Open or close parenthesis, we have 0 0.0588. Now, how about this last cell? We have a negative test value and it's a left tailed test. So we're going to use this formula norm dot s dot test. So open parenthesis, the test value is negative 1.57, comma true. And we have a p value of 0 0.058. The basis of this formula, norm.s.dst or dist, is a left tail distribution. So notice that here we did not include any 1 minus or 2 times 1 minus. That's all for this video. If you want more video tutorial in data analysis in Microsoft Excel, please like, share, and subscribe. You can also hit that notification bell for your updates. See you in the next video.